Happening now, all the recent heavy rain causing major problems on our local roads. An early morning landslide has now closed the Columbia River Highway from Angel's Rest to Multnomah Falls, and that's all occurring in the Eagle Creek burn area. And that's important but because we know how unstable that uh, ground is there. We do have team coverage tonight on this weather alert. We want to begin with our Lisa Balick, who is live near Multnomah Falls. And Lisa, are we getting word that there is a new slide here near you? Yeah, we just got here. We just got out to this area. Now take a look. This is not the landslide we came out to cover, but we got a report and came down the road. We're in the eastbound lane east of Multnomah Falls. Take a look at this boulder and a piece of wood from up above that has come down into the road. Now we've gotten here before ODOT. ODOT clearly will be closing off this section as well, but this just happened minutes ago. It's the combination of all the rain, the unstable hillside, There's actually a culvert underneath here that got clogged last night. And with all this nonstop rain, that means trouble. Yards of rocks, branches, silt flowing across the highway. And that caused all this water to be rushing over the road and started to erode the bank a little bit on the uh, north side of the highway um, and affected the railroad. So railroad came out last night to make sure that their railroad system was um, safe. No rocks were on it. In fact, a similar slide occurred here in 2017. Hydrologists and geologists took a look today at the area walking above the creek. They're concerned the landslide potential will grow. Potential for another 50 yards to come down with another inch of rain possible. How much is 50 yards? 50 yards would basically fill up this truck about five times. That's why this section of highway remains closed. ODOT is diverting the water to a nearby culvert for now. The area, though, remains unstable. You can still see plenty of torched trees after the 2017 Eagle Creek fire. There's a lot of trees and areas that still have a lot of the burn marks on them. The fire was in this area, and that um, certainly could have, uh, you know, played a part in what has happened here with um, a lot of the ground cover and everything holding the soil together is kind of not there anymore, and it allows it for, you know, the amount of rain we have, the ground gets pretty saturated. We found a lot of rocks that had rolled down recently from the steep cliffs, and this is in an area that's not fenced off for safety. The landslide potential clearly still very strong. Another 50, 50, 50 yards possible with an inch of rain. Now again, keep in mind, we are not where that landslide is. That landslide is on the other side. But take a look. This is a boulder. We see ODOT coming right now. They are clearly going to close off this section as well. This area to the east of Multnomah Falls Lodge. This is, again, the old Columbia River Highway. They are having a lot of problems out here. Their recommendation probably right now is to try and stay out of this area. We're not seeing any rain coming down right now, but this is a result of all that rain and the unstable ground. We'll keep you posted to have more tonight at six. Back to you. Okay. Be safe out there, Lisa, because where there is one boulder, there could very well be more. And